And during the shooting Sunday night, students surrounded the scene. One of those students was a photographer for the Daily Wildcat, the campus newspaper. Kega 9's Eddie Salaya met up with him at the U of A to talk about what covering a tragedy on his own campus meant to him. Covering any sort of crime scene, even for a seasoned reporter, can be tough. Covering a homicide, especially as a student reporter, is something different altogether. I spoke with the University of Arizona's photographer for their student paper about what emotions arose from covering an event like this and what he thinks the university's response should be. The photos of the scene and the reactions, I think, are really hitting home for a lot of people. A text from his girlfriend brought Mason Kamei to campus Sunday evening, where he captured the shooting's aftermath. I had a photo of reactions. I had a photo of the police standing over where the car and the body were. I had photos of residents in the dorm halls. The photos ran in national newspapers and on TV, but he didn't realize the impact they had until later. I found out the picture I had that we were running was the victim's brother being told that his brother had passed away. Kume said he and other students were concerned about a lack of info coming from the university. People didn't know if there was a reason, if the gunman was still close by, if he was going to come back, if there was more than one victim. I mean, there was a lot of just uncertainty and disbelief. Mason told me that reporting on this incident inspired him to continue reporting and to give students a voice in that reporting. From here, outside of the volleyball courts at the Global Center and the University of Arizona campus, I'm Eddie Salaya, KGA 9.